November 18th. Fire's not ripping, but she's going. What's up, Gim? What are you doing, bud? Here's our project. Just a regular old Fisher straight blade minute mount two plow. Ready, Ben? What's up, Kim? Welcome to the party. All right, the bottom part of our plow is ready for some primer. So we're gonna prime the front of this plow all the way down to our trip edge and in our, in our joint there. And we're gonna wrap around the edge and just do this edge. We're gonna try to get a coat or two of primer on that today so that the bare metal doesn't sit overnight because it can just take one night of oxidization. Is that even a word? Oxidization? Is that how you say it? Okay, that's not bad. I can't believe I got that out of my mouth. Anyway, I'm gonna try to protect the bare metal <laughs> overnight. This is what we're using for our primer. Rust-Oleum Clean Metal Primer. Use on bare, painted, or lightly rusted metal for the ultimate finish. Will you give this thing a go? Let's do it. Dan says shake vigorously for a minute. We've definitely been doing that. Yeah. Trust me. Get the truck somewhat set up for a little bit of in case overspray comes. I think we need a little weight on this, Benny. Yep. Maybe this piece of wood here. And come over here and hold it. So like when I'm doing the spray, you know. I can't even take the thing off. Oh, it sprays me right in the face when it comes off. It's a good idea, Benny, the mask and glasses. So if anybody's watching this and you're auto body people or spray paint people, I'm sure there's a lot of things extra you might've done. <laughs> but this is just a plow to me. We grinded it down the best we can. This stuff's meant to go over paint, so we're just going over all this, the spots that are good, the paint spots that are good, we're just going to cover it with this primer. Definitely not a painter. Never pretended like I'm good at this, Benny. <laughs> that wasn't the point of this video. It's not paint your plow like a pro. <laughs> not even grinding the Fisher thing off. Wow, this isn't good. <laughs> My painting skills <laughs> its dripping like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you gotta be quick, like. You're like, no one can see you plow in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sponge ones? Sponge brushes? Oh, I don't know. I just found this. We'll see. Well, it's not bad. I'll help us with our streaks. The second coat might stick better. Yeah. Fill in the gaps and whatnot. That's money. Yeah, dude. That's all we were missing. Yep. 
Who knew you needed a paintbrush when you spray paint? I'm fine with it. Bro, that hatchet sticks out like a sore thumb now. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good first coat right there. Benny, I told these guys, man, I'm not a professional painter or anything like that. But it started dripping a lot, and the remedy to that was just grabbing that paintbrush. Again, I'm not looking for a brand new car paint job on this plow. It's to protect the rust and for us to be able to get creative here we got a coat on that uh the joint right here like i was showing you now we can leave this open and as it dries we're going to have a good application of paint on both sides where they meet and then when they pinch together it'll uh it'll prevent any of the paint from chipping as opposed to if we had this trip edge closed and just painted the edge there'd be a inside edge there that wouldn't have any new application of paint so it would start rusting quicker so we did the top here too and we did this edge and that one can's empty that's all i need one can <laughs> it has been a while since we last worked on this plow it is white as white can be benny Especially with that cloth on like the headgear, it just looks like this weird like white blob. But that is, I believe three coats of primer. Did a lot of painting off camera after that first coat. So the front is primed and ready for our first coat of white, just white paint. <laughs> the back is two coats of primer. The springs really pop out now. <laughs> and I wasn't too worried about overspray as you guys can tell but everything's covered up pretty good nooks and crannies there this is two coats of primer I have one more primer can which I'm going to do the back with but not today we're in the middle of going to another job so I'm just spraying the front with a nice coat of white so that I can set with that sun beating on it it is protected Top's covered nice. You can see the texture from the original yellow paint into the areas we grind it down. Not too worried about it. The steel is protected. Front has a really good coat on it. That joint that we have open for the trip edge is coated nicely. So let's do a coat of this. This is why no one likes to wear safety glasses and a mask at once. But you need to.
sitting here wondering why it's so hard to look at. Sun's bouncing right off a super white object right in my face. Like I said before too, I'm not like super concerned about the overspray, even on my driveway. It's just something that's functional for me and I'm trying to be creative as well, but I'm just letting you guys watch how I'm doing my plow. Got it. I literally have paint on my putting fingers. If it ain't two, it's luck. That's what they say. You need two of them. Oh! <laughs> Finally running out. The front of that plow officially has three coats of primer and one coat of white uh, satin enamel. December 30th, 2022, <laughs> almost New Year's. Plow's even whiter than it was last time. We got this, it's like a gray, it's supposedly it's supposed to look like that, like a hammered, <laughs> hammered finish, but we're gonna do that on the back. That's got two coats of primer, and we're probably gonna put a coat or two of this on there. So it's about 45 degrees out. We got a warm front coming in. We're gonna be in the 40s, 50s, and there's even a day that's in the 60s, so pretty wild. Got the front covered up, a little drop cloth to cover the top edge and the front blade as best as possible from overspray. The frame I'm not too worried about, but I got the pistons covered up. I'm gonna get some overspray on the frame, but uh, I'm gonna touch that up once I actually go back through here and do all the black paint. So for now, I just want to get a nice base coat. Wow, that's pretty wild. nice just a very tiny tiny little bit of overspray right there none really on this side one can got a nice coat on the back of the plow got to get this coat in in the middle of doing a couple things today so that was nice I will be doing another coat of that and then I will also be touching up some of these spots on the frame with some black okay so i am on to taping off for the stripes 
Um, it took a lot of time in figuring out the math uh, between the disc or the height of the plow and how thick the stripes needed to be. Unfortunately, they would, it was just a touch over the thickness of a normal painter's tape, so I had to double up on the layers. It was by far the most time-consuming part of the process, but I wanted to take my time with it to make sure it turned out just right. So doing all that math, figuring out the double layer tape, it was all worth it in the end. I did have somewhat of a plan going into it, but I also knew a lot of things were going to change as I went. And where I was at this point was I wanted to let the stripes, I wanted to have more room than I actually needed just to make up for if I was going to shift things a little bit. So you're going to see when I start painting it, I go far into where the blue would be and I go past the edge of where the flag's going to end up being. But I just wanted to play it safe, give myself the, the room I needed in case I wanted to tweak things up a little bit. But on another note, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments if you've done any kind of custom, you know, paint job on your plow or something. I could have just went in this and just painted it a solid color and been done really quick. But I wanted to, you know, get a little bit custom with it. And I thought, what better than an American flag? It's a, The plow is a really good canvas for it. Plus it gives me that room on the left for the future when I want to put like a company decal or logo on it. But I'm sure there's a few of you out there that I saw some cool things, so let me know in the comments below. Now that is American flag red right there. This is what I'm using. Rust-Oleum. Gloss protective enamel. Cherry. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. Let it dry up a little bit and then throw one more coat on it. I don't think I'm going to need more than two. And then uh, I'll peel the, the tape off. And we'll see what we got. Coat number two. This bottom part here is going to be covered up by the scraping edge when we put it back on. But... There may be a little bit still revealed after we put the blade on, so I'm just going to coat the entire thing. Give it some protection and then also make sure there's no white spots popping through. We'll let that sit. Maybe do one more coat afterwards. I did put one more coat on, and that coat's still a little wet. But I'm thinking maybe now is the time to pull the tape. So let's find out. This is where the... Obviously the blue and the stars is going to go, so I'm going to start here and if it, do, if it looks like it's messed up or it's going to get messed up, I can just stop. Let me know in the comments if you guys know about painting. Do you pull the tape off when it's somewhat wet or do you wait till it's dry? My thought process right now is that when it's dry, maybe it could crack. I don't know. a little bit guys I even bought like the better tape exterior surface I don't know it's better than painters tape it's hoping to protect from bleeding more but there's a little bit of bleeding I don't care Really not too bad though. Couple spots like that. But I'm extremely happy with the result. If I have to, I can get like one of those little white paint pens and just touch up those little bleed spots afterwards. But I'm super pumped with the result. Let's get the rest of this tape off.
Definitely a little bleed through guys, but from right here you can't tell much. Spots like right there, right there, a little bit up there. <laughs> but that is freaking cool, man. I've been excited about this for a while and now that I get to see the stripes on there, it's getting me even more excited. So you obviously seen the picture of the thumbnail, but I'm gonna paint that side just gray and then put some company information, a little bit of advertising on there. But that is cool, man. That is cool. So that paint's gotta set. It's gonna set there for the rest of the day. Did a little bit of touch up on the back with the black paint. So that's all freshened up. Got the blade painted while the, the couple coats of red were drying. Did this in between. And yes, there's overspray everywhere on my driveway, on my well cap. I don't really care, guys. I don't really care. This driveway's gonna go eventually. That well cap's gonna go eventually. It's about two o'clock right now. I'm not quite sure that paint's gonna dry and set enough to where I can do like the work that I need to do with the blue paint. Probably gonna have to wait on the blue paint until tomorrow. So we'll see you then. What do you think guys? That <laughs> looks mint. I am extremely happy with the way it's coming out. Pretty cool looking. I'm gonna get the blue put on. You know, what's a project like this when something like that doesn't happen? <laughs> I pulled the tape off and the thing freaking fell, smacked the blade. Jeez, hit it with some black paint to cover that, but it's just the way it goes, I guess. Three coats. Look at that flag, guys. One step at a time, that's all you can do. The next step is gonna be the, the stars. And I have a stencil that I ordered on Amazon and it's on the way. So that's gonna be another day, but at least I get the blue on there, the flags on there, and I can do all the finishing touches some other day. All right, guys, my wife told me I picked the wrong blue for the flag. There's my wife. It's wrong, huh? 
paints are the wrong color. Damn it. Damn it. It still looks pretty. She's right though. Changing the color. What do you guys think? It's probably a little bit more accurate. I mean, you're not wrong, Babby. You're not wrong. It's very cobalty. <laughs> cobalty, huh? Cobalt. Too much cobalt. We gotta paint it the right blue. Thanks for letting me know, Bye. babe, before somebody in the comment section let me know. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> So it's out with the sail blue, in with the navy blue. We gotta tape it all back up. Let's get into it. Okay. Thanks, babe. Okay, so my wife was right. That doesn't happen to you guys? <laughs> That's definitely way closer to the American flag blue. It's not so bright. All right, I'm gonna let that set. Probably throw one more coat of that on there. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to make a black trim border. The more I looked at this, the more I liked the black um, blade here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a trim edge, like two inches on each side. And I think it's gonna put like a border around everything and just kind of encapsulate it all. So that's what I'm gonna set up now while that coat is setting there. I think those, those black edges really tied it off. My wife was totally right. That is the American flag blue right there. Yeah, the edges being black like that looks sweet. What's up guys? Another day, another dollar. Time to do the stars. If you guys watched my plow videos, you already saw this. Um, I did kind of have a little bit of a mishap on the blue paint not setting and I just fixed that this morning off camera so our blue is good to go dry to the touch time to put the star stencil on just kind of a plastic stencil I bought it off Amazon okay it's set up I will be honest though I'm a little nervous that these stars are gonna bleed because on some of these spots it's lifted plastic is kind of hard so it's not form-fitting to the the curve of the plow 
I'm gonna try to use this wooden stake to just put a little bit of pressure on it, on the spots that are lifted. All right, put a few coats on. Let's see how bad it is. Well, it's not bad. It's horrible. Jeez. I knew that was gonna happen. That stencil just wasn't gonna work. Doesn't look as bad when you're back here, but it's not good, I'll tell you that. The stencil was a fail. Pretty disappointed. I'm just gonna cover it up with blue paint again. And I think my move is gonna be to buy some star stickers. Stick them on. How's it going, everybody? Today is Monday, February 12th, and we're getting ready for a big storm coming in. But I did a little bit of touch up on my plow. I started it last year, well actually 2022 really, the end of 2022 into 2023 is when I did it. Plowed with it for that whole season, and it held up great, but I did have to do a couple little touch ups on the edges and on the cutting edge. So I redid the cutting edge right here, just painted it down, and then these these edges, the trim work, was a little scraped off just because of snow and ice scraping. And then also the little crack where, where the trip edge, when it hits, it goes under, some of the paint chips. So I touched up that whole edge. And I put new stars on. Before, when I did these stars, the package that I bought, came with this size, a size down, and one size down. I thought I was gonna be using the medium ones, which they give you more of, but I ended up using the large, and I didn't have enough the first time I did it. So I put large and mediums in. So I power washed all that off. I put a little bit more blue paint to freshen it up, and then I reapplied new stickers because I bought um, enough to do all with large, and I think it looks much better now. I got one thing left to do. I have a little bit of epoxy that I'm going to try to cover this whole flag with. I don't think I have enough to do the entire plow. Doesn't that guy know I'm filming for a YouTube video? But anyway, I don't think I have enough for the whole plow, but I want to cover these stars because at least the epoxy will go over the stickers and put a nice um, layer of protection over it so they don't peel off. The other ones I put on held up pretty good. Only a couple of them peeled on the edges. I did have a piece of rubber that goes on the top and it flaps over, kind of helps push a lot of snow. I have not put that on since I've done this because one, I think it's gonna cover the flag up a little and two, I haven't found it to be super helpful. Unless it's just a really big storm and there's a lot of snow, at that point it will help protect the snow that comes up and over the plow and gets you to push some more. But I really haven't that, had that situation in quite a few years here in Massachusetts. and I don't know, it's not a huge deal, so I kind of like the way it looks without it. And if we ever have in the forecast a big storm, I can throw that um, snow foil right back on and be all set. But man, was it a long transformation from beginning to end. Just I, I did what I could when I could in between doing other things. Um, took me a while to get it all together and then make this video. But I think it came out really good. Um, like I said before, I could have just painted it a solid color. Still made it look nice. But I'm really glad I put in all the extra effort. I think it came out pretty unique and it definitely catches your eye uh, driving down the street. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. I got one thing left to do, which I've already done to this previously, and that is to put a coat of epoxy on it. The first time I did this and I put the stars on, I coated the entire plow with an epoxy called Plow Slick. And it's 
worked out excellent. It's protected it about 99% and I'm very pleased with it. I have a little left over from when I did it. So I'm gonna use everything I can and I don't think I'm gonna be able to coat the entire plow, but I wanna get where I put the stickers and coat that so that it's protected and the, the stickers don't start peeling. So I always try to give credit where it's due. Um, I heard about this product from a comment on the video where I prepared it for this paint. And uh, the guy said, quick tip, after completing the blade, get some plow slick. It can be purchased online. It's a two-part epoxy coating. It can be purchased in clear and rolls right on. I've used it for years and nothing sticks to the plow. It hardens to a shell-like finish and protects from chipping also. As usual, another entertaining video. So that's what I did. I looked into the product and I ended up purchasing it. And I'm extremely glad I did. It works just as good as the guy said. It hardened like a nice shell and it protected everything awesome. All right, so this is the stuff right here. Like I said, it's called Plow Slick. It's two parts. And what this is is basically a one third to a full bottle of this, but you use all of this and all of this, but I didn't need that much. So I, I weighed it out evenly and um, use exactly what I need, but this is all I have left, but it should be at least enough to cover the stars. I'm just gonna be putting it on with a roller, nice smooth to semi-smooth roller, and that's really all you gotta do. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna dump this into here, mix it up a little and then put it into the, the paint tray here. A little piece in there that got hard, so I gotta get that out. Couple little chunkies in there, but I'll be able to get those out. Mix it around a little bit more. Let's see how it goes. So at least now the stars are protected and we got another coat over this flag. So I hope you guys liked this video, the transformation of the plow. Like I said, if you want to see us grind it down and get it prepared, check the link in the description below. If you want to see some more snow plowing content with this plow, check out this playlist right here. But until the next one, you guys know the deal. God bless. Peace.